Yes, but not very often. Uh, yeah, definitely. You know, it's a great way of um, you know exploring new artists or you know kind of discovering new music. You know? I think it's a very convenient way to access classical music, and I think it's actually a very smart move for artists to actually go on the internet and promote themselves. Uh, mainly Spotify and possibly YouTube. I use Spotify mostly, I think. Occasionally yeah, I YouTube, but mostly Spotify. Yeah. Uh, in the main, I don't tend to use Spotify. Now, if I'm going to uh, listen to classical music online, then I will tend to stream on YouTube. So uh, I'm a pianist, basically, and I really want to see how the pianist is playing uh, and what kind of technique he's using. So for me, it actually makes much more sense to actually use YouTube. It's excellent idea. You know, it's uh, much easier to just swipe the page across. I think it's a terrible idea. Um, one, because I really like the the, the object. You know, like uh, you know, just turning page. And I usually annotate a lot on uh, on the music sheet. So you wouldn't actually make actually any sense to to use a to use an iPad. I always like to have the hard copy of the sheet. I always, I always like to have the hard copy yeah. as well. Uh, as um, I, I, I've played in like, concert bands which do a lot of outdoor gigs and stuff, and I have to say, when you see an iPad, you think, oh, actually, I can just turn the page by doing that rather than fiddling with pegs and trying to faff around with all the pages. You think, yeah, no, that would be a good idea. But uh, in terms of like, performing more in a concert hall, it's got to be sheet music. Yeah, it just doesn't definitely. seem right. Yeah. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> <laughs> um, no. 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 No.